All right, I'm MSJ Nation, r one with MilsimJunkie.com. Right now, I'm headed out to the airport for Broken Home 3, and I thought I'd shoot this video on how to fly with your airsoft gear. It's a question I get asked a lot, and I thought I'd use this opportunity to show you guys what I do and how relatively painless it is to travel with your airsoft gear. MilsimJunkie.com, baby. All right, so let's start off with the main luggage. This is kind of the loadout slash clothes. As you can see, my loadout is gonna be on the right as well as some extra goodies. The mags are in here, and on the left is going to be uh, mainly my clothes. Since we're playing airsoft, it's mainly just the combat shirt, pants, and then some extra clothes to change into at night and if we happen to go out to eat. A loadout bag is generally a great idea. Um, obviously some of them come a lot larger than this. This one's the Voodoo Tactical one um, that uh, I've been using and traveling with for quite some time. My helmet also goes in here as well too. So when you're traveling with your AEG and your airsoft gear, it is important to put everything, the important AEG and maybe your sidearm and some extra stuff in a hard case. Treat it like an actual firearm. So that means making sure the case can actually be locked from the outside. So it depends on your airline, but there's gonna be weight requirements. So that's why I've kind of jammed this case with some other stuff as well too. As you can see, I have my batteries, my charger, extra battery for the lights, my sidearm, and the sidearm magazines. Um, yeah, I try to jam as much as I can in here. Obviously, you could get a lot larger cases like a Pelican case, but I travel small and only what really is needed and yeah, that's it. Let's go on to the airport and I'll show you guys how the process of flying with this thing domestically. All right, so I have two check-in items. That means that it's going under the plane. One is my regular luggage with my loadout and the other one is my airsoft goodies. It's in a hard case. It's locked. I have the key for it. It is a large padlock, um, not a TSA uh, luggage lock as you can see in the luggage, but these are being checked in. The main thing is to be upfront and honest, let them know that it's an airsoft gun and that you treat it like a real firearm and if there's anything special that you need to do whether that's showing TSA or um, just letting them know that it's an airsoft or a toy gun so let's go ahead and check in all right so I just checked in so basically what I'm doing now is just kind of hanging out what you want to do is tell the, the person checking you in depending on the airline so let them know that it's an airsoft gun that's a toy gun but if you want to treat it as a real firearm um, and that's totally okay. So usually if they want to treat it like an actual firearm, you're going to fill out a declaration form, simple piece of paper, let them know. Um, in this case, they didn't have me do that. So I'm hanging out just in case TSA wants me to open it. And that's basically it, departing from there. So the next step is arriving. All right, so the last part, step three, is actually picking up the luggage. Um, so I'm here uh, in Kansas City. Uh, waiting for my luggage now. Uh, usually the regular luggage, the loadout bag, will come out through here and then the airsoft, the AEG, and the glass gas blowback, the hard case, basically. I'll just have to go to the luggage services, which is just usually around the corner or right by the carousel, and then just pick it up from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is how you fly with your airsoft gear. It's relatively painless. All you gotta do is basically be honest, follow all the rules, their guidelines, uh, make sure that you treat it like a real firearm. If they wanna treat it like a real firearm, and uh, you just you let them know it's an airsoft or toy gun. Um, but if you want to declare it, declare it, sign a little piece of paper, and that's it. Just show them, the TSA will be okay with it, and you're good. It just, again, depends on your airline and your airport. Sometimes you will have to declare it, sometimes you may not to, sometimes you have to check it in as oversized. So, just some quick disclaimers there. But apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how to fly with your airsoft gear. All right guys, that's it for me here at MilsimJunkie.com. Remember, play hard, fight hard, guys.